Hey, welcome to Football 101. It's Dave Wyman. I want to look at uh, a play, a couple of plays that Frank Clark made and, uh, and talk about just a, a few things. We know what force is. Uh, we're going to talk about spill, which we talked about a little bit last week, and then just the ridiculous athletic ability of Frank Clark. And he's made some plays that uh, I've found to be maybe the most spectacular defensive plays I've ever seen. And, uh, and I'll show you one that uh, was last year, actually, 2016. Week 12 against Tampa Bay it was in the second quarter uh, at 7:13. If you want to look it up, because it's really pretty remarkable what Frank does. But what they're doing is uh, what they ran here is a power play, basically, and that's just where you wash down one side and pull players to the other side to kick out whoever's left. And in this case, it was Frank Clark, and then. Uh, so they pulled a guard. So here's what happens. They're in this kind of a alignment here on this play. And uh, this guy's in the one technique, which is just inside the, the, the guard. And the other guy's in the three technique, just outside the guard. And what they do is they just block back here and pull this guy. Now he's going to kick out someone who's left free, which is Frank Clark on this play. And the reason why this guy doesn't block him is he goes down and seals the, uh, the backer. And you get a block here, and Frank Clark comes up field. So, you know, usually you just go and take on the guy and hope somebody else makes the tackle. Well, what Frank does is somehow he gets underneath him. He gets underneath the pulling guard and kind of blows him up. And then he comes up and gets underneath the other guy. So he almost does this sort of little S thing here. So now both of these guys who are pulling, one's to block him, the other guy's to come up here and clean it up. He knocks them off, basically. And this is what, whenever you talk about like Michael Bennett or Frank Clark being disruptive, uh, even though on plays like this, if you don't record a stat, you're being disruptive. And that's why Michael Bennett is so good. Same thing with Frank Clark. So he comes in and he basically hangs up two blockers on the play. And so these guys are on either side of him trying to block Frank Clark. And this is a horrible diagram here, but he's in between these two guys and he makes the tackle on the running back. So I just, you know, I looked at that play and I thought, wow, I'll tell you what, this guy is one of the better players I've seen just from a disruptive point of view and also his ability to, uh, to rush the passer as well. But, you know, I thought that was an amazing play until I saw the one on Sunday night against the Indianapolis Colts. So Sunday night versus Indianapolis, similar type of play. They don't pull a guard, Indy doesn't, on this play, but it's still a classic power play where you wash down one side and kick out block with a, either a guard or a tight end coming back across the formation. And so, and I wrote up here force and spill and, uh, and then of course jump over. So, you know, we always referred to these guys, so when I say the trapper, the trap guy, there's a classic trap play. This is not one, but uh, anytime a guy's coming across the formation to try to kick you out or cut you, uh, just call him the trapper typically. But there's different ways to do it. We know what force is. Uh, force is you turn everything back inside. So what that means is that Frank would come up here and take this on so that you know his outside arm and his outside leg are free. So he's able to get outside and turn everything back in. Spill is is when you come underneath the block and kind of what he did on the one that we just diagrammed in Tampa Bay come underneath the block and what you do is you try to make a big pile here and make the player bounce to the outside and that gives whoever is back here that uh, you know either a linebacker or a defensive back more time to get there because you make the play bounce and instead of going straight up the field the running back has to end up doing something like that so it gives you time to get there so that's spill now here's one I've never seen before <laughs> jump over the trapper never seen that before so that's exactly what Frank does and it's a good thing too because they were in some kind of a stunt and I know Bobby at the last second moved uh, everybody over because they thought the running strength was here so you know everybody was just totally sealed off on this side of the field and if Frank Clark doesn't make this play uh, it's out the gate for at least 10 yards because Earl's back here and uh, you know he's probably not going to get up there well Earl moves pretty fast but 
you know, it would have been a wide open hole here, but what happens is Frank Clark takes a step across the line of scrimmage and sees the guy coming and somehow just hops over the top of him, regains his feet, and then lunges. And Brent Stecker, our editor at 710sports.com, used the word pounce. I thought it was perfect. It looked like a lion pouncing on a gazelle. But the way he jumped and propelled himself forward uh, was, was really cool, and it's worth going back and taking a look at. And I'll tell you what, Frank Clark is, you know, I've said he's going to get 15 sacks this year, and uh, I'm not so sure if he's going to be able to get to that number because I think he has one or a half. But some of the disruption I talked about earlier that Michael Bennett and him cause are as good as any stat that you can get.